Hey, it's Andy with Speed Goat with our day two recap of the cool stuff we saw at Interbike. Again, I'm just going to read through a quick list of things I saw. We're going to try to show you some either photos or video footage while I'm, I'm reading through. CD's got a new shoe, the Ergo 3, and while it is a little bit lighter than the previous years, a little bit stiffer, a little more comfortable, the big thing this year is that they have a speed play specific sole, finally. You don't have to use adapters anymore. Uh, our friends at Rita Bikes have built a stainless steel lugged bike that has NB carbon tubes. I talked with Spencer from Rita. He said it's one of the best riding bikes he's ever owned. He said he was smiling and laughing as he was cruising around LA on it. Uh, happy to see that for those guys. Maybe we can talk to them into letting us sell them. Uh, we also saw Juan Cobo's Vuelta winning Fuji bike. I know that's not a brand we're going to sell, but uh, the cool thing about that bike was that they made the chain into a little Spanish flag. I don't believe you're looking at some details of that right now. It's a real eye catcher. Uh, another thing that was a real eye catcher was Blue's completely murdered out aero bike. Again, a brand we don't sell, but something worthy of, of checking out and seeing because it was really eye catching. Uh, another cool product that we can sell is Richie's carbon handlebar lineup. They've got black, they've got white, they've also got red this year in both road and mountain bars. Uh, moving on into mountain products, Stans has a new Arch EX rim. It's lighter. It's a little bit wider, but it has the same ERD as the old arch, so you don't have to recut and get new spokes. You can just use your existing spokes and throw out your old arch rim or put it on another bike. We kind of finished up the day with our friends in the Focus booth. That is a brand we sell. Uh, the Azalco Pro 2.0 with SRAM Force, 3,400 bucks. You look at the pictures of that bike online, I think you'll be blown away by what you see. The product spec is top notch. And for 3,400 bucks, it's gonna be tough to find a bike that rides better and performs better on the road. They also have a bike called the Cayo, C-A-Y-O, DI2 Altegra, kind of a Grand Fondo-ish geometry to the frame, around 1,050 grams, complete bike with a set of fulcrum wheels. I believe it's gonna come in around 4,300 bucks. Not bad. I think it's a couple hundred dollars cheaper than the nearest competitor. Equally good, if not better. Uh, another thing that I really liked at the Focus booth was their new Raven 29er Carbon. The thing that stands out on that bike is the massively flattened and scalloped out seat stays. You just have to see them to believe them. I think that's going to translate to a good degree of vertical compliance and uh, suspension to hold the trail while not sacrificing the way the bike climbs and comes out of corners. Uh, you also get in the little things to make a big difference department. Focus makes great cross bikes. They sponsor the Rafa cross team. Uh, the, the Rafa rider here at Cross Vegas had a hell of a race last night. It's great to watch. But I think something that helped him was the clever front brake mount. They've moved away from a hanger that comes off the bottom of the headset and mounted it to the brake boss on the fork to give it increased stiffness and increased grab and better modulation when you need it. So that's a quick rundown of the things we saw we, that we like today. We'll give you another quick one tomorrow on Friday on the last day. Thanks for tuning in, following the tweets, follow us on Facebook, and thanks for the patience with the audio on this video. As you can tell, it's kind of tough to get it right, but uh, expect a return to really good quality once we're back home and back in the studio. Thanks again.